you're a wonderful old well. I've never tasted such delicious water as yours. What else would you expect from a well that was originally dug by an angel from heaven? An angel sent by Allah. Tell me. A long, long time ago, Allah the Almighty commanded his prophet Ibrahim to take his wife Hajar and his little son Ismail into the desert area of Mecca. Ibrahim left the two of them there as Allah the Almighty told him to. All they had was a little food and water and that soon ran out. It was here in this place that Ismail cried and cried because he was so hungry and thirsty. His mother went to look for water to quench his thirst. Hajar climbed to the top of Safa looking for water or for anyone who might have some water but she didn't find anything so she came down again quickly and ran over to the top of Marwa. Again she found nothing so she ran back to the top of Safa again and she did that seven times until until what? Well? Until Allah, the Almighty, sent an angel from heaven who made water gush out of the ground from under Ismail's feet. When she saw it, Hajar was afraid that it would not be safe for her baby, so she used sand and stones to surround the water that was coming out from the ground. While she was doing this, she kept saying to me, Zumi, Zumi. In her language, this meant stop, stop. And that is how I got my name, Zamzam. <laughs> Not so funny. You are. You see? I know that it was Abdul Muttalib, the prophet's grandfather, who dug you out. Not an angel like you just said. Well, that's actually another story. That one all started after the Johun tribe sealed me up. Johun? After Ibrahim and Ismail had built the Kaaba, Mecca was ruled by one of the Arab tribes called Johum. They ruled over this area for a long time. <coughs> the fight started between the Johum and another tribe, the Khuzar, about who should rule Mecca. Eventually this led to a big battle between the two of them, which the Khuzar won. So some of the Johum men sealed me up and hid me to take revenge against the Khuzar. For a long time after that, the people of Mecca had to go and fetch water from outside. So, how come the Prophet's grandfather dug you out then? Many years after that, Abdul Muttalib had an amazing dream. When he was asleep, he heard a voice telling him to dig Tiba. The voice disappeared without telling him what Tiba meant. But then it came back again the next night and said to him, Dig Barra. What is Barra? How amazing! And then it disappeared again? Yes, and on the third night it came again and said to him, Dig al Madnuna. And again it disappeared without explaining what it meant. So how did the Prophet's grandfather come to dig you out then? The voice came to him a fourth time and said, Dig Zamzam. This time he told him where I was, so he came to dig me out as he had been told to. And ever since then, I have supplied the people of Mecca with water, and also the pilgrims who come for Hajj and Umrah, and anybody who comes to visit the sacred house of Allah. <laughs> <laughs>